Today's news is blowing up with the, the development of a hypersonic missile. But before we dive in, let's break down what exactly this means. What is a hypersonic missile? Imagine a missile that zooms through the air faster than you can blink. It's like a super speedy rocket, racing along at five times the speed of sound. That's what we call hypersonic. These missiles are like lightning bolts in the sky, moving so fast that they're hard to keep track of. Hypersonic missiles are super duper fast, zipping through the air like a shooting star. They're not like regular missiles that go fast. These are on a whole new level of speed. And they're not just fast. They're like acrobats in the sky, twisting and turning in ways that make them really tricky to spot. It's like trying to catch a ninja in action. These missiles are like the superheroes of the military world, zooming past defenses before anyone can even blink. They're so fast that by the time you see them coming, it's already too late. And because they're so sneaky and agile, they can slip through enemy lines like a ghost in the night. It's like trying to catch a dragonfly with your bare hands. These missiles are so tiny and speedy that they're like little ninja stars flying through the air. And because they're so small and fast, they're really hard to see coming. It's like trying to spot a needle in a haystack. So to sum it all up, hypersonic missiles are like super speedy, ninja-like rockets that zoom through the air faster than you can blink. They're like shooting stars on steroids, moving so fast and twisting and turning in ways that make them really tough to spot. It's like trying to catch a ghost in a thunderstorm. This is FATA, Iran's new terrifying hypersonic missile with a top speed of Mach 15. It is fast enough to strike every country on the planet in just six hours and strike Israel, Iran's arch nemesis, in only four minutes. Yet, despite being a likely target, Israel isn't moved. If there's one nation on Earth with the air defenses capable of stopping an unstoppable missile, it's Israel, and that's exactly what they plan to do, to stop the unstoppable. We'll see if Israel can achieve this and, more importantly, how they can achieve it. But first, a closer look at the Fatah missile and its increasingly rising hype. On June 6, the 2023, Iran's hypersonic missile Fatah was unveiled. Like other hypersonic missiles, it is a massive upgrade from what the world is used to. Fatah travels at speeds that almost nothing can keep up with and packs both enough kinetic and explosive firepower to destroy entire cities. Still, despite how impressive that is, that isn't what makes hypersonic missiles truly special. After all, all of the world's ICBMs also travel at hypersonic speeds and pack insane firepower. Hypersonic missiles stand out by being maneuverable throughout their flight, making it difficult for air defense systems to predict their flight path and intercept them. This is what makes hypersonic missiles almost unstoppable, but only almost. Israel, with the best air defense systems in the world, is one nation that could stop them. The country has an entire slew of advanced air defense systems that destroy missiles in the skies and in space before they even get a chance to strike the country. They are Israel's ultimate response to the threats of hypersonic missiles. Israel is one of the best defended nations on Earth. The country's air defense systems are an invisible shield whose impact is far from invisible and whose capabilities are so invincible that the U.S. has invested in virtually every single one of them. Here are the most powerful of them. Arrow 3 is a hypersonic anti-ballistic missile, jointly funded, developed, and produced by Israel and the United States, but primarily used by Israel. It operates as an exotmospheric air defense system with an operational range of 1,500 miles. This means it can leave Earth's atmosphere to destroy an incoming threat in space during the spaceflight portion of the threat's journey. Depending on how high up Feta needs to go, the Aero 3 may also be effective against Iran's hypersonic missile, despite its maneuverability. With thrust vectoring capability, the kill vehicle of the Aero 3 can switch directions dramatically to keep up with the directional changes of the Feta. Aero 3 has been in service since 2017 and has since drawn international interest from countries looking to protect their skies at a price of $3.5 billion. Germany is purchasing the system as part of the European Sky Shield initiative to defend against Russian ballistic missiles such as the 9K-720 Iskander. It is the biggest defense purchase in Israel's history. Aero 4 
Aero 4 is a follow-up to the Aero 3. Unsurprisingly, it isn't yet in service, but according to a statement from Israel's Defense Ministry, Israel and the United States have begun developing the missile defense system. The system will work with next-generation interceptors and will replace the Aero 2 from service. Aero 2 is the predecessor to the Aero 3. Unsurprisingly, the new Aero 4 is being developed to intercept much more sophisticated threats of the future, such as hypersonic missiles capable of countering threats both within Earth's atmosphere and beyond. It would be the most advanced of its kind in the world and would provide a far stronger layer of defense to Israel and its people. There is also the chance that older aero defense systems would be upgraded to aero 4 standards, meaning most of Israel's defenses would be able to counter hypersonic missiles, at the very least, which is a wild thing to achieve as base capability. Iron Dome, no doubt the most popular of all of Israel's air defense systems, the Iron Dome is a celebrity in its own right, and it's thanks to its mighty, impressive capabilities. It cost $210 million to build, but would save Israel billions in damages. The Iron Dome was designed to intercept and destroy short-range rockets and artillery shells aimed at Israeli-populated areas. The system earned operational status on March 27, 2011, and just one month after, the system intercepted its first missile from Gaza. The Iron Dome can operate day and night under adverse weather conditions and respond to multiple threats simultaneously from 43 miles away. Looking under the hood, the Iron Dome has three main components working together to create a gem of an air defense system. These components are the detection and tracking radar, which detects incoming rockets and calculates their trajectory to determine if the rocket poses a threat to a populated area, the battle management and weapon control component, which does exactly what its name implies, and thirdly, the missile firing unit, which launches the Tamir interceptor missiles that fly into the incoming rocket's path for mutual explosion in order to neutralize the threat. The $100,000 Tamir missile, which was also built by Raphael, is a highly maneuverable one, like a gymnast, but in the sky. It achieves this maneuverability with electro-optic sensors and several steering fins, this maneuverability is crucial because they're faced with threats that may be able to maneuver themselves, or just threats that take an uncommon path. Each Iron Dome typically wields up to 80 of these interceptor missiles, shared across four launchers, and 150 of them can protect the entire Israel. By late October 2014, the Iron Dome systems had intercepted over 1,200 rockets with a 90% success rate in eliminating targeted threats. Like clockwork, They've also gotten involved in the current conflict with Hamas, and as expected, they've been more than impressive in ensuring Hamas's missiles and rockets are reduced to mere fireworks in the sky. The only threat left for the Iron Dome to really prove itself against is the hypersonic missile, and of course, the most popular air defense system in the world will not back down from a challenge. Iron Beam The Iron Beam is Israel's future air defense system under development. Once in service, it will intercept incoming threats before they even have a chance to cross into Israel. The interception comes in the form of a powerful laser beam that can cost as low as $3.50 and not the 2.8 million per more expensive Tamir interceptors of the Iron Dome. Israel would be the first country in the world to have such laser defense capabilities. In addition to the low cost, this mode of air defense comes with two main advantages. One, unlimited magazine, Guns and missile launchers, lethal as they can be, are significantly limited by bullets and missiles. Once they run out of ammunition, they're more useless than a sword from the Middle Ages, and they do run out, leaving their operators in a bit of a precarious situation, to say the least. This is not the same with the iron beam. It doesn't rely on projectiles to deal damage, but rather on the energy that comes with lasers. By default, the main operational cost of such a revolutionary weapon would therefore only be an electricity bill. With a reliable power source on standby, the iron beam completely cancels out the need for military artillery to reload, introducing an unlimited magazine with highly efficient shots, saving precious time and, since every second matters on the battlefield, ultimately saving lives. 2. Speed of light attack. Lasers are some form of light energy. Therefore, the Iron Beam's 150Q laser shots from two separate laser guns aim at targets at 180,000 m s the speed of light.
making lasers the fastest thing in the universe. No drone, mortar, missile, or fighter jet stands a chance at outracing this weapon, whether it's supersonic or hypersonic. And for this reason, for the Iron Beam's targets, destruction is assured. Raphael Systems, the Iron Beam's manufacturer, claims the system will be ready for some degree of use within the next year. If the current conflict with Hamas and indirectly Iran isn't resolved soon, it might just be the testing ground for the Iron Beam when the system enters service. Testing ground for the Iron Beam when the system enters service. Sky Sonic, if the futuristic name hasn't given it away yet, the Sky Sonic is Israel's future air defense system to make waves. It is primarily aimed at countering hypersonic missiles from over 40 miles away. So Iran's Fatah has one more thing to be worried about. On June 14, 2023, the Sky Sonic was unveiled at the Paris Air Show. At the event, Raphael confirmed the system's role as Israel's core air defense for countering hypersonic threats. The exact date the system will enter service remains anybody's guess, but Raphael expects to have it ready in a few years to complement other air defense systems. Iran's Fatah hypersonic missile and Israel's air defense systems could be a battle deciding versus in the new battle between Israel and Gaza. Which would win? No one knows, but for the sake of their respective nations, they'll both give it their all. And more importantly, they both ask that you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do that now and thanks for watching.